Hello my friends, welcome to Top Classical Music. Today we will present a short biography about Rossini. Joaquino Antonio Rossini, February 29, 1792 to November 13, 1868, was an Italian composer who gained fame for his 39 operas, although he also wrote many songs, some chamber music and piano pieces, and some sacred music. He set new standards for both comic and serious opera before retiring from large-scale composition while still in his 30s, at the height of his popularity. Born in Pesaro to parents who were both musicians, his father a trumpeter, his mother a singer, Rossini began to compose by the age of 12 and was educated at music school in Bologna. His first opera was performed in Venice in 1810 when he was 18 years old. In 1815 he was engaged to write operas and manage theaters in Naples. In the period 1810 to 1823 he wrote 34 operas for the Italian stage that were performed in Venice, Milan, Ferrara, Naples and elsewhere, this productivity necessitated an almost formulaic approach for some components, such as overtures, and a certain amount of self-borrowing. During this period he produced his most popular works, including the comic operas L'Italiana in Algerie Illinois Barbier di Siviglia, known in English as the Barber of Seville, and La Cenerentola, which brought to a peak the opera buffa tradition he inherited from masters such as Domenico Cimarosa and Giovanni Paisiello. He also composed opera seria works such as Otello, Tancredi, and Semiramide. All of these attracted admiration for their innovation in melody, harmonic and instrumental color, and dramatic form. In 1824 he was contracted by the opera in Paris, for which he produced an opera to celebrate the coronation of Charles X, Ayel Biagio a Reims, later cannibalized for his first opera in French, Le Conori, revisions of two of his Italian operas, Le Siege de Corinth and Moise, and in 1829 his last opera, Guillaume Tell. Rossini's withdrawal from opera for the last 40 years of his life has never been fully explained. Contributory factors may have been ill health, the wealth his success had brought him, and the rise of spectacular grand opera under composers such as Giacomo Meyerbeer. From the early 1830s to 1855, when he left Paris and was based in Bologna, Rossini wrote relatively little. On his return to Paris in 1855 he became renowned for his musical salons on Saturdays, regularly attended by musicians and the artistic and fashionable circles of Paris for which he wrote the entertaining pieces Pecci's de VLS. Guests included Franz Liszt, Anton Rubinstein, Giuseppe Verdi, Meyerbeer and Joseph Joachim. Rossini's last major composition was his Petite Messe Solennelle, 1863. He died in Paris in 1868. Well, that's all for today. See you in the next video.